but we're beginning to make some real progress in understanding the genetic lesions that can cause autism. And one of the ones that I wanted to talk to you today about is this disease called Fragile X syndrome. So I mentioned Fragile X syndrome is the leading known inherited cause of autism and intellectual disability. So just to quickly give you a quick thumbnail sketch of the history of Fragile X, it was originally recognized as a syndrome back in 1943 by very astute clinicians, Martin and Bell, that recognized that some children had the same constellation of symptoms and may have a disease that is caused by, this, by the same uh, thing. And that thing was then discovered uh, in the 90s, work done at Emory University by Steve Warren and also in collaboration with David Nelson at Baylor and Ben Oostra in uh, the Netherlands. <laughs> These investigators discovered the gene that was disrupted in Fragile X. And as I mentioned, it's one gene called FMR1, and it is silenced in individuals with Fragile X syndrome. And as a consequence of that, the protein product, FMRP, is not made. And this discovery uh, identified MGLUR5 as a potential target. It's a neurotransmitter receptor. It's too active in the brain of individuals with Fragile X. And maybe we can correct the disease by dampening down signaling at the MGLUR5 receptor. And so we and many other labs around the world tested this idea, and we discovered that indeed, in all these animal models, we could restore normal function by suppressing by about 50% the activity at this neurotransmitter receptor. And by good fortune, pharmaceutical companies, large and small, have been developing small molecules to interfere with the functions at this receptor. And these molecules are now in uh, human clinical trials with very promising uh, results.